Hello there, so in this video I'm going to be talking about how to choose your anti-aliasing method for um, your indoor project for Unreal Engine 5 in Android and iOS. So the first thing that you have to do is go to edit, project settings, um, go under rendering tab, Under it's under the engine section. And then you have the mobile anti-aliasing method. For me, it's set to TAA because I found it more reliable and uh, more performant than others. But there's a catch though. If you are using forward shading, which is the default shading model in Onion Engine 5 for mobile devices, then you're probably going to be stuck using MSAA because it looks the best in forward shading. But if you are like me and you are using deferred shading, then you have other options as well. Um, TAA and FXAA. So let's go ahead and check this one out, FXAA. As you can see, it's, it doesn't look really good. If you look at the edges here, Oh, doesn't look really, really good. It's not the best, but TAA is a little bit better than that. I don't know if you can really notice it with the YouTube compression, but for me at least in this project, TAA is the best. Maybe for you in your project, FXIA looks better. It's completely up to you. Just go ahead and test things out. Find out for yourself. Um, so, and on the other hand, if you are using uh, planar reflection for this, this kind of reflection that we have in here, you are kind of stuck with uh, either TIA or FXIA or FSR, which is if you go into the edit plugins fsr you have the mobile fsr i have uh, a separate video explaining everything related to this one this is another solution you can use so for me i'd either choose mobile fsr or taa if i were to use different shading uh, and everything that comes with it but if i were to use forward shading then MSAA is the best option and um, there you got it. So how can we change the um, quality? So if you're working on MSAA, if you type in R mobile dot MS, apparently it's not that. Uh, so MSAA account, if you enter on it, it would uh, tell you that the R dot MSAA account is for. Um, by changing that, you'll definitely reduce and uh, increase the load on GPU. If you're targeting new devices or some mediocre devices, then it's not going to really change the performance. But if you're targeting low end devices and you are definitely, definitely working on forward shading, then this is going to have a huge impact on everything. So if you don't want MSA to work at all, you can just type in MSA account zero uh, and I would say eight looks the best. It looks wonderful. Um, you don't have the option to change TIA and FXAA too much. You have some um, option to change them, but they don't really um, change the scenarios too much, except this option here. So in the engine scalability settings, you have the option to change the anti-aliasing from epic to low. So, and if you want to do that inside the blueprint, you can just, uh, I mean, I'm j I just opened the uh, level grouping to show you things. Get user um, settings, get game user settings, and then anti set anti-aliasing quality which it has a hint zero is low one is medium too high and etc um, you have the option to change it this way as well so if you want to do it that way then there you go uh, and this is everything that i could find online and i could 
experience with all of this stuff throughout the year of being an Unreal Engine developer. Uh, I hope it helped you and if it did help you, please hit that like button and have a great day. Bye.